Good morning. Uh, for those that do not know who I am, my name's Byron Jones, and I'm the telestaff guy. Many of you know me by my voice when you get a call for overtime through telestaff. So if I haven't met you, uh, that's who I am, and uh, welcome. I just wanted to kind of introduce you to a new telestaff. Um, as of December the 2nd, we're attentively going to a new telestaff sometime the first quarter of next year. When I say a new telestaff, it really functions the same way, uh, it just looks and feels different. And so I wanted to kind of share some things with you so that it's not totally strange to you when you get in because it does continue to work the same way. This is a web-based telestaff. So however you log in to telestaff, whether you log in through uh, a computer at the station, through your phone, through a Mac, through a tablet at home, wherever it is, it will function the exact same way. You'll have the same capabilities to do whatever, wherever you are at. Wherever you can get to the internet, you will be able to access this new telestaff and do whatever you need to do. With it being a web-based, uh, uh, service, we have to make some password changes. We're going to require them to be eight characters at a minimum. Uh, we want to make sure that hackers can't get in since it is web-based, so we're going to be requiring that those changes. However, your user ID will stay the same as it currently is. There will be no changes there. Being web-based, there is no right-click uh, on your mouse. Everything is left click on the mouse whenever you're on the web. So that is one little slight difference as well. Now I know many of you use your phones out at the station. There is an app I know uh, through the app stores that you can get and use to get into the telestaff. That app will be pointing to the old telestaff when we go to the new telestaff. So it will not be looking at the right one to do what you need to do. Since this is web-based, that's what you'll need to use. You'll be using your browser to access telestaff. So with that, that's pretty much all the, the changes. We'll get into showing you what it looks like on a desktop and uh, what it looks like on your phone. But this is what it looks like. You see the user ID and then your password. So I'm just going to log in so you see what it looks like. Okay, so we got logged in and we're to the dashboard now. The main part of it, uh, and for those that deal with software, dashboard is the new buzzword, so everything comes up with a dashboard, and telestaff, the new telestaff is that way. This middle part right here is your upcoming schedule. It's the next two weeks, as you can see. It shows the date range up here of what's on um, your schedule for the next two weeks. You'll see that there's some other things over to the left here and over to the right here, and I'll come back to those. And then you'll see buttons up at the top where we'll talk about those later. You can go to your calendar, as you see here at the top, go to the roster for today. You can look at your personal info, uh, your contact information, address, so forth. You can go look at people like you currently do in Telestaff, and you can go look at reports for either yourself uh, if you only have that capability or for others for basically like the XOs and above. And then if there's a bid going on, here's where you would go for the bidding. So you can see it has same of the same capabilities. Now, this is what it looks like, the screen on a desktop. If you're on your phone, this upcoming schedule will be at the top. You'll see it first. And then the left-hand side will be here will be at the bottom uh, of this upcoming schedule and then the request and featured vacancies will be following that. So just to kind of touch on these, you can go update your password by clicking on this link. You can go look at preferences, uh, which we don't really use here. You can look at your personal history report to see all the uh, codes that have uh, ever been put on your calendar. View your contact log where Telestaff has tried to contact you for an overtime or to notify you about a trade that you're working. Speaking of trades, Telestaff calls them paybacks. You'll see all the paybacks that you're owed down here. Um, and so forth. 
then request over here if you've entered a request and it's not been approved you will see it under the request pending right here and uh, the new telestaff has a new function where you can deny we're not going to be using that we're going to be using the um, leave uh, vacation denied request just like we currently do to keep track of who requested vacation first and you can view details on all these requests then you can actually jump in your personal calendar by clicking on this uh, link here just like you can jump to your personal calendar by clicking on the tab up here which is where we're going to go next we're here at the calendar now uh, on the December or excuse me this is November the 27th you notice there's a white box here on the current telestaff you just see a plain white box on this day well now you see where you actually were at on that particular day the assignment was ladder 82 engineer and the person actually worked ladder 82 engineer you can also see that the holidays show up down here Notice the Christmas holiday for December the 25th and New Year's Day for January the 1st. Notice how the shifts show up now. A shift is actually starts at 7 a.m. on January the 1st and it ends at 7 a.m. on January the 2nd. That's why it goes across a date here. You'll notice that the unapproved or the requests that are out here are both a vacation and a trade-off. On the 18th, there's a trade-off and the asterisk showing that it's not an approved trade yet for 24 hours starting at 7 o'clock. A vacation on the 12th. Again, it's for 24 hours starting at 7 o'clock and the asterisk means it's not approved. On the 15th, the vacation there has been approved. There's no asterisk, and the person is off for the whole 24 hours starting at 7 a.m. Notice that the Kelly Day on, on this one is December the 3rd. Right now, there's test data loaded in here, so uh, normally at this point in time with this uh, Kelly Day would be showing up here but it says the person is off so this is truly their Kelly Day here and so it shows that they were being off so this would normally show up 45 days out in the future right now this being December the 2nd that's the current day and it's highlighted up here this Kelly Day here on the 3rd and the Kelly Day down on the 24th would have pink boxes on it just like you currently see in Telestaff and I'll back up to show what they look like in this version of Telestaff. So we back up and there's the Kelly Day that you normally see those pink boxes on your calendar. Kelly Days that you're off. Now notice I backed up using this arrow here. I can move forward a month or I can actually click on this calendar and then I can jump around all the, any place I want to on my calendar. So with that, we will jump into the roster. Okay, so now we're to the roster, and you'll notice the, the roster it's, is for an older date here. I wanted to show you all the different codes, just like they look on the uh, current Telestaff to see what they look like here. Um, notice that um, there's all kinds of different colors on here for the different ranks like the battalion chief, the XO, safety officer, uh, lieutenant, and so forth. Uh, they're still highlighted like normal. You can see all the different codes in here. The leave vacation that was approved here, a Kelly Day here. You can see the trade off, the trade working, the Lee family emergency, and then those folks working overtime here. Uh, see a part time person that was uh, working here covering, med covering Medic 82. Not much different than it looks currently on the roster. Now, as a reminder, just to kind of show you, you can still move around up here by clicking on the pre, this would take you to the previous day on the top left. 
top, the one the next to it would take you to the next day, or you can jump around just like we did earlier on the calendar and jump to a particular date to look at a roster for that day. So, and those that have the authority to do filling in, you can actually see here are the openings that need to be filled. Uh, the pink that kind of highlights the line, which I think is a little bit better than uh, before uh, on the current telestaff. You can actually see what needs to be filled on the roster. There's nothing else. We were short this particular day on Medic 81. And you actually have all the other features in the top right up here that shows the alarms. And you can find people on the roster and things like that. So with that, that kind of covers the major things. Uh, as we get closer, um, hopefully you will be uh, have an opportunity to get in and take a look at this and see what uh, it's like, see how it functions, move around in it. But I wanted to give you some of the highlights right now. If you do not log out, it will log you out after a period of time, but I would recommend that you do not leave it up. Again, this is web-based. So if you go somewhere and somebody's able to hack in, they might find out your password information. So you want to go to the top right up here and click on the sign out and it will sign you out of the system and take you back to where you log in and you are done with Telestaff at that point in time. So uh, that covers that part of it. Just again, in summary, uh, this is going to be uh, active sometime the first quarter of next year is the plan right now. Again, there will be emails stating that. Uh, uh, be emails talking about, please don't use your phone app once we go to this new Telestaff. Um, because the old phone app will be pointing to the old telestaff and eventually it will not even be functioning. Um, phones will be using a browser just like the browser we're currently looking at right here. Uh, so it'll function just very much the same way. Kind of think of this if you've used eBay on your phone. Uh, it works very similar to that or any other kind of web-based system. And so just watch for those emails of how to, and to get in, what the URL is to get into it, uh, and your password that you'll be using to get into the new Telestaff to then change it. I think you will like it much, much better once you get in and start using it. Have a great day.